Today's gospel from Matthew chapter 15, the story of how a pagan, non-Jewish woman came to Jesus asking for help for her daughter and was rebuffed when Jesus told her that he had come to help only the lost sheep of Israel, is a curious story indeed. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and what I find troubling about this story is how it seems as though Jesus saw himself as the Savior only of the Jewish people and not the entire world. But let's take a closer look. When he reflected on this scene, Pope Francis called the woman a brave and desperate mother who would do anything for the health of her child. She would even go beyond her pagan boundaries and seek out the Jewish prophet and healer that she had heard about. She risked rejection and, in the Pope's words, making a fool of herself because of her deep love for her daughter. But she had more. She also had faith. And so, in response to Jesus, who had told her that it wasn't right to give the children's food to the dogs under the table, she said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Jesus praised her and her faith and declared, Let it be done for you as you wish. Sometimes we pray and pray, ask and ask, but God seems to ignore us or to say no. Perhaps God is challenging us to not give up, but to exercise our faith even more by continuing to pray, even though we do not see the results we want. Tough situations that call us to exercise love and faith are what help us to grow in those virtues. And in the end, faith and love, which are part of good spiritual health, are more important than physical health.